This time I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that this time. Joaquin Phoenix's sudden departure from Todd Haynes's untitled gay romance drama just days before filming in Mexico rocked Hollywood. His last minute exit left the cast and crew in limbo, sparking talk of legal action. Glad I had the opportunity to spend the night to do some deliberation on this matter and think about it. Though Phoenix's pre-filming nerves are well known, the true reason remains unclear. With no comments from his team or the studio, mystery hangs over the project, fueling debates on responsibility and representation as the industry watches in suspense. The announcement and Joaquin Phoenix's involvement. In early 2024, anticipation built for a new project helmed by acclaimed director Todd Haynes, centered around an intense gay romance set in the 1930s. The story, co-developed by Joaquin Phoenix, was described as a daring exploration of forbidden love between a corrupt Los Angeles police officer and a Native American man. Phoenix's involvement was particularly notable, as he wasn't just cast in the lead role, but also had a strong hand in shaping the script and narrative alongside Haynes and writer John Raymond. Phoenix's track record of selecting challenging roles, combined with Haynes's reputation for thoughtful, boundary-pushing films, made this collaboration highly anticipated in both artistic and commercial circles. Phoenix, a straight actor, had been set to portray one of the lead characters, sparking some debate over the casting. How are, I, sorry, no, 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 you don't have to applaud me, I was just asking how you're doing. Though it appeared the project had widespread support from the creative community. As a planned NC-17 rated film, Haynes and Phoenix pushed the boundaries of what could be portrayed on screen, especially in terms of raw emotionality and sexual content. Phoenix himself had been vocal about wanting to explore uncomfortable and challenging spaces with this film, pushing both himself and the audience into new terrain. The fact that Phoenix brought the project to Haynes added to the sense that this was a passion project for the actor, one that would see him exploring deeply personal and complex themes. International distributors had already shown interest, making deals before production even began, and sets were built in Guadalajara, Mexico. The excitement was palpable, and industry insiders were watching closely to see how this unique narrative would unfold. However, five days before filming was set to begin, Phoenix made a shocking decision that would upend not only the film, but also his public image. The Abrupt Exit – A Shocking Decision Just five days before filming, Joaquin Phoenix abruptly walked away from Todd Haynes' untitled gay romance drama, sending shockwaves through Hollywood. With deals in place, sets built in Mexico, and a crew ready to go, the timing was disastrous. Phoenix, who had been deeply involved in shaping the project, once called it a bold exploration of intimacy and identity. His sudden exit left everyone stunned, especially given his passion for the film. However, sources close to the production revealed that Phoenix got cold feet at the last moment. While no specific reasons for his departure have been provided, speculation ran rampant. Some suggested that Phoenix may have had concerns about the intense, explicit nature of the film especially given that it was set to be an NC-17 rated movie. Others pointed to the actor's well-documented struggles with pre-shoot anxiety, noting that Phoenix had previously expressed feelings of nervousness before major roles. His departure, however, left the production in peril. The film's producers, particularly those at Killer Films, were left scrambling, unsure how to move forward without their lead actor. Recasting seemed impossible given the timeline and Phoenix's pivotal role in shaping the film's creative direction. The financial implications were also dire. With significant pre-production expenses already incurred, the sudden halt placed millions of dollars on the line. The crew found themselves abruptly out of work, while distributors and stakeholders faced the possibility of substantial financial losses. Phoenix's silence following his departure only fueled further speculation and left many in the industry questioning the future of the project. Hollywood's Response and the Double Whammy Phoenix's departure sparked widespread outrage across Hollywood, 
not just because of the financial and logistical turmoil it caused, but also due to the underlying complexities surrounding his role. Many producers and insiders felt blindsided by the actor's decision to walk away from a project so late in its development, particularly one that had generated significant buzz and financial backing. A number of Hollywood executives, according to reports, saw the move as unprofessional, with some suggesting that legal action against Phoenix could be on the table. This was not the first time an actor had faced potential consequences for backing out of a major production. Industry veterans drew comparisons to previous high-profile cases, like Kim Basinger's departure from Boxing Helena in the 1990s, which resulted in a costly legal battle. Beyond the financial blow, Phoenix's departure was also controversial due to the sensitive subject matter of the film. As a straight actor cast in the lead role of a gay romance, Phoenix's involvement had already stirred some debate within the LGBTQ community. However, there was a general consensus that Phoenix, as a seasoned actor, could do justice to the complexity of the role. Many in the industry defended the decision to cast him, advocating for the freedom of actors to portray characters beyond their personal identities. The sudden exit, though, added fuel to an ongoing conversation about representation in the media. Critics were quick to point out that this situation exemplified the risks of casting straight actors in prominent LGBTQ roles, particularly when those actors abandoned the project after deep investment from the community. Producer Christine Vachon, a longtime advocate for LGBTQ cinema, even took to social media, calling the situation a nightmare. She defended the choice to cast Phoenix, emphasizing his passion for the project and Killer Film's strong track record of working with LGBTQ artists. However, she also lamented that the controversy was making an already dire situation worse, with Phoenix's actions now sparking debates that could overshadow the project's artistic merit. Phoenix's Reputation for Cold Feet and Prior Incidents Joaquin Phoenix's decision to exit Todd Haynes's film wasn't entirely out of character for the actor. Phoenix has developed a reputation for having cold feet before major projects, a pattern that has followed him throughout his career. Known for his method acting and intense dedication to his craft, Phoenix often immerses himself deeply in the roles he takes on. However, this dedication also comes with a level of unpredictability and anxiety, as Phoenix has admitted in interviews that he often feels petrified before filming. His meticulous nature has led to several instances where he has reconsidered or even threatened to walk away from significant projects just before production. One notable example occurred during the production of Napoleon, directed by Ridley Scott. Napoleon was reviled as a tyrant in England, where you're from, and revered as a hero. Phoenix reportedly threatened to leave the project unless Paul Thomas Anderson, with whom he had worked on The Master, was brought in to rewrite parts of the script. While the situation was resolved and Phoenix ultimately stayed on, this instance highlighted his tendency to second-guess himself and the direction of a film particularly in the lead-up to filming. This level of involvement in a project's creative direction is a hallmark of Phoenix's approach to acting, where he often pushes for changes that align more closely with his artistic vision. In interviews, Phoenix has expressed that this nervousness stems from a fear of not fully realizing the character in the way he envisions. His self-imposed pressure to perform at the highest level can result in indecision, which was likely a factor in his departure from Haynes's film. This pattern has left some in the industry wary of working with him, knowing that his anxiety and perfectionism can lead to last-minute changes or exits, as seen in this case. Despite this, Phoenix's undeniable talent has kept him in high demand, with many filmmakers willing to navigate his unpredictability for the sake of his compelling performances. The Impact on the Production, Financial and Creative Fallout Joaquin Phoenix's sudden departure left the production of Todd Haynes's film in a precarious situation, both financially and creatively. The movie faced immediate uncertainty after Phoenix's exit. Entire sets had already been constructed, and a full crew was assembled, ready to begin work. International distributors had pre-purchased the film based on Phoenix's involvement, further raising the stakes. 
His departure not only stalled the production, but also left many out of work and created a ripple effect across various aspects of the film's logistics. If I do, I would just be sharing my opinion from my perspective. Um... Financially, the losses were expected to be significant. Sources within the industry estimated that the sudden halt could result in damages exceeding seven figures. Phoenix's involvement had been a central selling point for both the film's financial backers and its creative vision. Without him, the production was left with few options. Recasting the lead role so close to filming was not considered feasible, especially given Phoenix's personal investment in the character and storyline. As a result, the project was placed in limbo, with no clear path forward. The shelving of the film meant that the crew, who had spent weeks preparing, were now out of work with little warning. Creatively, Phoenix's departure was equally devastating. Having been instrumental in developing the film's narrative and tone, his absence created a void that couldn't easily be filled. Todd Haynes and writer John Raymond had built the story in collaboration with Phoenix, tailoring the lead role to his specific strengths as an actor. His dedication to pushing boundaries, particularly in portraying a complex gay romance in a 1930s setting, had shaped the direction of the film. With Phoenix gone, the film's future was not just uncertain but deeply compromised, as Haynes was left to decide whether to shelve the project indefinitely or attempt to rework it from the ground. Legal and Industry Repercussions – The Risk of Lawsuits Joaquin Phoenix's sudden exit from Todd Haynes's film not only triggered emotional and financial distress for those involved in the project, but also raised the possibility of legal action. When an actor walks away from a major film just days before production begins, it often leaves the production company in a vulnerable position, as they have invested heavily in pre-production, casting, and securing distribution deals. We're talking about a fight against the belief that one nation, one people. In Phoenix's case, with millions already sunk into set construction, crew contracts, and international sales, the financial losses from his departure could be staggering. While neither Phoenix nor his representatives have commented publicly on the reasons for his departure, industry insiders have speculated that legal action could be a real possibility. The situation is not without precedent. Hollywood has seen actors face legal battles for abandoning films. One of the most famous examples is Kim Basinger's departure from Boxing Helena in the early 1990s, which resulted in a court ordering her to pay $8.92 million for breaching her contract. Though that decision was later overturned, Basinger ultimately settled for $3.8 million. This case set a legal precedent that actors could be held financially responsible for backing out of films, even without formal contracts if significant pre-production had taken place. Similarly, Bruce Willis, after dropping out of Disney's Broadway brawler, had to make good by agreeing to appear in several other Disney films at a reduced rate. In Phoenix's case, producers and financial backers might seek compensation for the expenses already incurred and the revenue lost due to the film's indefinite shelving. The fact that Phoenix was so integral to the project, having co-developed the script and been a primary draw for international buyers, strengthens the case that his departure caused significant damage. But for all the other movies, I had a great work ethic. While some insiders believe Phoenix may settle for a seven-figure amount, it's unclear if legal proceedings will escalate or if a resolution will be reached behind closed doors. Regardless of the outcome, Phoenix's decision is likely to impact how future productions and studios approach contracts with high-profile actors, especially for passion projects like this one. Phoenix's Silence and Public Reaction Following Joaquin Phoenix's sudden exit from the film, many anticipated a public statement or explanation for his decision. However, Phoenix has remained notably silent on the matter, offering little insight into the reasons behind his departure. When questioned about it during a press conference at the Venice Film Festival for Joker, Folie à deux, Phoenix deflected. Um, this time I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that this time. Stating that it wouldn't be appropriate for him to share his side without the other creatives present to offer their perspectives. He emphasized that discussing the issue would only provide his opinion, which, in his view, wouldn't be helpful in the absence of Todd Haynes and the rest of the team involved in the film. 
This response has led to mixed reactions from both the public and the industry. Some viewed Phoenix's silence as a respectful decision, avoiding further speculation and controversy in a situation already fraught with tension. By refusing to engage publicly, Phoenix appeared to avoid escalating the situation and potentially harming relationships with the film's stakeholders. However, others criticized the lack of transparency, with some feeling that the actor owed more to the production team, the cast, and the crew, many of whom were left jobless just days before filming. The absence of an official statement or reason from Phoenix only fueled further speculation, with rumors circulating about everything from creative differences to personal discomfort with the explicit nature of the film. The reaction from fans has been equally divided. While Phoenix has a reputation for being enigmatic and elusive, his decision to exit the film so abruptly left some feeling disappointed, particularly those who were looking forward to seeing him take on a challenging, socially relevant role. On the other hand, his dedicated fan base has largely supported his silence, trusting in his artistic process and personal judgment. Back to me. Nonetheless, the controversy surrounding Phoenix's decision has become a topic of ongoing debate, particularly in light of his past career decisions and his upcoming role in Joker 2, which some fear may be affected by the fallout from this incident. The Casting Controversy – Straight Actors in LGBTQ Plus Roles one of the underlying controversies in Joaquin Phoenix's departure from Todd Haynes's film is tied to a larger debate in Hollywood, the casting of straight actors in LGBTQ plus roles. Phoenix, a straight actor, had been cast to play a gay character in the 1930s set romance, a decision that had already garnered some attention and critique from within the industry and the LGBTQ plus community. This is not a new debate. For years, casting decisions around LGBTQ plus characters have sparked conversations about representation, authenticity, and the responsibility of filmmakers in telling queer stories. I think that we've become very disconnected from the natural world. In recent years, many advocates for LGBTQ plus representation have argued that such roles should be reserved for actors who are part of the community. The argument is rooted in the idea that authentic portrayals of LGBTQ plus characters are best achieved by those who have personal experiences with the challenges and nuances of being part of that community. Additionally, there is the issue of visibility and opportunity. With so few major roles available for LGBTQ plus actors, some argue that casting straight actors in these roles takes away valuable opportunities from those within the community. Phoenix's casting, however, was initially defended by many within the production team. Christine Vachon, a longtime producer of LGBTQ plus films and a key figure behind Haynes's project, had responded to early criticisms by emphasizing Phoenix's deep involvement in the project and his commitment to telling the story authentically. She pointed to Killer Film's long-standing record of working with LGBTQ plus actors, directors, and crew, making it clear that Phoenix's casting was not a matter of erasing queer talent, but rather about his passion for the role and the story. Vashon urged critics to consider Phoenix's personal dedication to the project rather than simply focus on his identity. However, with Phoenix's abrupt departure, the debate over straight actors in LGBTQ plus roles reignited. Critics pointed out that this situation highlighted the potential risks of relying on high-profile, straight actors to carry sensitive community-focused narratives, especially when those actors walk away, leaving the project in disarray. The Fallout for Joker – Folia Du and Phoenix's Career Joaquin Phoenix's departure from Todd Haynes' project also raised questions about the potential impact on his upcoming projects, particularly the highly anticipated Joker, Folia Du. Scheduled for release in late 2024, the sequel to the billion-dollar hit Joker has already generated significant buzz, especially with the addition of Lady Gaga in the role of Harley Quinn. However, the controversy surrounding Phoenix's exit from Haynes' film has sparked concerns that it could overshadow the release and marketing of Joker 2. Some industry insiders worry that the negative press surrounding Phoenix's decision may affect fan interest in Joker, Folie Adieu. Phoenix's decision to walk away from Haynes' project has already drawn criticism from some corners of the internet, with fans expressing frustration over his actions. In fact, as noted in various reports, some individuals have even voiced intentions to boycott Joker 2 as a result of his controversial decision. 
the system that knows so much, you decide. The double controversy, Phoenix's abrupt exit and the casting of a straight actor in a gay role could lead to a complex marketing environment for the Joker sequel, especially in an industry that is increasingly sensitive to representation and inclusivity. Despite these concerns, it's worth noting that Phoenix's career has weathered controversy in the past. His infamous hoax of becoming a rapper in 2010, while widely mocked at the time, didn't prevent him from being nominated for an Oscar for the Master just two years later. Phoenix's reputation as a brilliant, if unpredictable, actor has allowed him to maintain a strong position in Hollywood even after unconventional decisions or public backlash. Additionally, Joker, Folie à deux, is poised to be a major box office hit, with expectations high following the success of the original film. In the short term, Phoenix's decision may create challenges for the promotion of Joker 2. But given his history of rebounding from controversy, it's unlikely that this incident will cause lasting damage to his career. The actor's track record of delivering award-winning performances ensures that he remains a sought-after talent, even in the face of industry criticism. Looking ahead, the legacy of Phoenix's departure. As the dust begins to settle on Joaquin Phoenix's exit from Todd Haynes's untitled gay romance film, the long-term consequences of this decision are still unfolding. The project itself remains indefinitely shelved, with no immediate plans to resume production. The void left by Phoenix's departure raises a critical question about the future of the film, and whether it can be revived without its original lead actor. For Haynes, a director known for his thoughtful portrayals of complex relationships, the loss of this project is a significant creative setback. He had been deeply invested in the film's narrative and the unique exploration of LGBTQ themes, making it unclear if the story can be re-envisioned with another actor or if it will remain a passion project that never comes to fruition. For Phoenix, the incident has added a new layer of complexity to his already unconventional career. While the immediate financial and legal ramifications could be resolved with settlements, the broader industry implications will be harder to gauge. Phoenix has always been a polarizing figure in Hollywood, known for his intense dedication to his craft but also for his unpredictability. This latest move reinforces that image and may make some producers more cautious when working with him in the future. However, his track record of critically acclaimed performances, including his Academy Award-winning role in The Joker, suggests that he will continue to find opportunities in the industry, even after this setback. The incident also highlights ongoing debates within the industry regarding representation, accountability, and the casting of LGBTQ roles. As Hollywood continues to grapple with questions of authenticity and inclusivity, Phoenix's departure has become a focal point for discussions about who should tell these stories and how. Ultimately, the legacy of this decision will depend on how Phoenix, Haynes, and the industry respond in the coming months. Whether the film can be revived or Phoenix can move past the controversy without lasting damage will determine the lasting impact of this unexpected chapter in his career. For more such interesting videos, hit the subscribe button.